Okay, let's consider question number 46. A question from probability, a simple one. A bag contains 4 red and 6 black balls. A ball is drawn at random from the bag. Its color is observed. And this ball along with 2 additional balls of the same color are returned to the bag. If now a ball is drawn at random from the bag, then the probability that the ball drawn one is red. So, simple one, we can start it as the required probability. What are the possible cases? There are 6 black and 4 red balls. Okay? So, let us write here 4 are 6 black balls. Now, one ball is drawn from this bag. Let us consider it comes out to be red. What is the probability? This comes as red, the second is also red or the first coming out is black meaning this is black then comes red. So, the required probability can simply be obtained as 4 by 10 multiplied with y 4 by 10, 4 red total 10. Now, what we did once we draw the first ball, it comes red, we put two more red balls that is now total balls 12 and red balls 6. So, the probability of getting 6 ball as red, it is 6 by 12, correct. In case the first ball comes out to be black meaning that 6 by 10 multiplied with 4 by 12, this is simply 24 by 120 plus 24 by 12. 120 that is 2 by 5. So, from the given options we can clearly see the correct option is option 1. So, answer for the given question is option number 1. So, this point is clear a simple question from probability. Let us move to the next question. Okay, Let us consider the next question that is question number 47. The length of projection of the line segment joining 5 comma minus 1 comma 4 and 4 comma minus 1 comma 3 on the plane x plus y plus z equals 7. So, how we can start this question? Let us consider joining two points we get this line segment. The normal vector is along this line and we need finally, this length which is the projection of a b on the plane say for example. Now, here how we can start this question points are given to us let us consider 5 comma minus 1 comma 4 and 4 comma minus 1 comma 3. Normal vector to the plane is i plus j plus k. So, a vector along this one is i plus j plus k correct vector along this normal one. We can find projection of this segment let us consider a b on this b c. So, we will get the length of b c. So, b c comes as projection of a b along b c. This is equal to modulus of minus i minus k dot i plus j plus k upon square root of 3, which gives us 2 by root 3. So, this is the length b c 2 by root 3. We can also find length a b which simply comes as root 2 5 minus 4 whole square plus 0 plus 4 minus 3 whole square it is a square root. So, length a b is known length b c is known, we can find the length a c as therefore, a c equals square root of 2 minus 4 by 3 giving us simply square root of 2 by 3 units. So, from the given options we can see that the correct answer comes as option number 3. So, correct answer is option 3. So, this is clear. Let us move to the next question. Okay, Let us consider the next question that is 48, a question from Trigo. If sum of all the solutions of the equation, one equation is given in 0 comma pi is equal to k pi, then what is the value of k? 
So, simple question we can start it as this equation has 8 cos x multiplied with cos a plus b into cos a minus b that is cos square a minus sin square b. So, it is cos square pi by 6 that is 3 by 4 minus sin square x x minus half equals 1. So, equation is like this one. This can further be simplified as 8 cos x multiplied with we can write it as 3 by 4 minus half that is simply 1 by 4 minus sin square x. Sin square x can also be converted into cos square x. We can write it as 1 by 4 plus cos square x minus 1 equals 1 or 8 cos x multiplied with cos square x minus 3 by 4 equals 1 which in turn gives us 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x equals half that is cos 3 x equals half. Now, the given interval for x is 0 to pi. So, we can see here in the interval 0 to pi 3 x it is giving me pi by 3 2 pi minus pi by 3 that is 5 pi by 3 2 pi plus pi by 3 that is 7 pi by 3 or x is equal to pi by 9 5 pi by 9 7 pi by 9 correct. Now, moving to the question part it is given that sum of all the solutions it is equal to k pi we have to find the value of k. So, adding these three values we have sum is equal to 13 pi by 9 equals k pi hence k equals 13 pi 9 right. So, just check the options given one we can see that 13 by 9 that is option 1 is correct. So, mentioning the correct answer as option 1. So, this point is clear let us move to the next question.